Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh Today we're going to be learning about two, do. In Gurmukhi, two is written like this. Nearly everything in the universe has an opposite. Opposites are sets of two. The world is full of twos, which is known as Dvandavad. In Sikh academia, there are ten renowned opposites, thus Prasid Dvand. These opposites find a place in Gurbani, in Guritihas and Sikh literature. Number one, birth and death, Janam and Maran. Number two, Harkate Sog, relate to two feelings on the emotional spectrum. Hark is extreme happiness and Sog is the feeling of sorrow. The creator has trapped his creation in these two emotions. Hark Sog ka nagar eho kiya se ubre jo sadgur saraniya. Only those that take the sanctuary of Guruji are freed from Hark and Sog. Number three is Sukh and Dukh. You may have heard of these. Sukh is experiencing pleasure and Dukh is going through pain, anguish and suffering. Sukh and Dukh have been described in Bani as sets of clothes, as garments. Sukh Dukh Dwe Dar Kapade Pehre Jaye Manukh Coming into this universe, a person changes from Sukh and Dukh like they would change clothes. Next, we have day and night which is commonly referred to as Din Atirat. Other phrases used are Din, Ran and also Nis which means night and Din which means day. Nis, Din. In Guru Granth Sahib Ji, there's a whole Bani, Maj Mahalla Panjama, Din Ran that is dedicated to day and night. It instructs us, Sevi Sadgur Apana Har Simri Din Sab Ran to do Simran day and night. At number 5, we have Rag Atidvak. Rag refers to passion, love, and desire. Dvak is the opposite of this, animosity, hatred, and it roots from the word duality. Next, we have Sanjog and Vijog. Sanjog means union, meeting, uniting. Vijog is the name of separation. Next we have Paap and Pun. Paap being sin, which leads us into the pits of hell. Pun being virtue, which leads us up the steps of heaven. Really, Gurmat takes us above Paap and Pun. And a true Gursik doesn't run after Pun and he doesn't run from the consequences of Paap because he has become free from both. Then also we have the Dvand, the contrast of Gurmukh and Manmukh. A Manmukh is someone who faces his mind. He is directed towards his desires and a Gurmukh is someone that is directed, that is guided by the love of his Guru. At number 9, we have the classical Dvand of Devte and Dant. Demigods and Demons In Dasam Siri Guru Granth Sahib Ji, Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji explains if a person carries out saintly actions, then in the world he is known as a Devta. On the other hand, if a person engages in evil, then they are known as an Asur, another name for a Dant. And finally, we have the purpose of life, to remove our veil of ignorance, a Gyan, and to adjoin and to find the light which is Gyan. You're probably thinking, we're done now. But the truth is, the list of twos goes on and on and on. Well, aside from this, another important pair to remember is Avidya and Avaran, the two Shaktis, powers of Maya. Maya, being the creative force of Vaheguru, 
through which we are all entrapped in the circle of the universe, the first power that Maya has is known as avidya. Avidya is ignorance, the failure to recognize ourselves as the form of Vaheguru. Number two is avaran. Avaran is described like a veil, or to understand it, imagine a candle. That candle is illuminating the whole room, but someone places a bucket over that candle, then that light is hid and the room is surrounded with darkness. So the avaran shakti of Maya, this candle represents our soul, our atma, which is the form of a Kal Purgavahi Guru God. However, avaran covers it and we lose that sight, that perception. According to the scriptures of India, there are also two types of karam. These are vihat karams that we should engage in and abihat karams that we should refrain from. These are not attributed to any one religion but are really universal rules. As you know, we're very clever. Seek to inspire is not just a pun. This too also has meanings. I promise, we didn't just make this up. We aspire to inspire you through Gurbani and Guruji's history known as Guritihas. Whilst bridging the gap, the conflict between Punjabi and English, which has become the first language of many of us living in the West. Thank you for watching this video. Please forgive us for any mistakes. Sikhi in Numbers was brought to you by Seek to Inspire. Please help and support by sharing and subscribing to our video series. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh.